South Africa, Tuesday, the 26th of June 2018 to 5.30 a.m. File, the African National Congress, ANC, has defended its decision to appoint Tony Yengini as chair of the Working Group on Crime and Corruption, despite his previous conviction for fraud. Photo, Gallo, Lulama Zenzile Johannesburg, the African National Congress, ANC, defended its decision to appoint Tony Yengini as chair of the Working Group on Crime and Corruption. Yengini is a convicted fraudster who serves on the governing party's highest body. The party said it was standard procedure that a chairperson of the working group must be a member of the NEC. Yengini was found guilty of fraud in 2013 for his involvement in the arms deal. Tony Yengini is not just appointed to that working group, he is the chairperson of the subcommittee of the NEC. That's the reason why he is chairing that working group, said the party's head of policy, Jeff Redeb. Read, Tony Yangini's house burned down, all the chairs of the working group are members of the NEC, yes indeed, he was found guilty and he served his sentence and paid his dues, the members of the ANC voted him in the NEC, that's why he's a member and chairperson of the Peace and Stability Committee, Anka.